Professional engineers deal with many different issues and priorities on a daily basis. The most important is safety, the safety of the public, co-workers, and peers. In fact, the Code of Ethics of the Association of Professional Engineers and Geoscientists of BC has as its first point, members and licensees shall hold paramount the safety, health, and welfare of the public, the protection of the environment, and promote health and safety within the workplace. My name is Mark Rigolo. I'm the Director of Laboratories for the Department of Civil Engineering at UBC. As a professional engineer, I've been working for 20 years with safety as my highest priority. I started my career at DuPont, a multinational corporation which focuses on safety in every aspect of its operation. Its safety culture is so extensive that it deals not only with handling dangerous materials in high temperatures on the factory floor, but also with how to carry your hot drink up and down a flight of stairs. As I grew into more senior roles and changed companies, the one constant for me has been this overarching emphasis on safety. Throughout my career, I've dealt with many different hazards, from high voltage to exotic chemicals. I've managed many teams, groups, and departments of professionals. And I'm proud to say that no team member has ever lost work time because of an injury. This is because I work diligently to build a culture of safety in my teams, where we focus on the fact that safety is more than just about wearing your safety gear, but rather it's a way of thinking, of understanding the task at hand and focusing on the hazards, and either eliminating them, reducing them, or guarding against them. It is an attitude that you need to build early in your career, and a great place to start is here at university. Wearing your safety gear will keep you from getting hurt, but also build a sense of safety. It will prepare you for later on in your career when you, like me and all other professional engineers, are responsible for the safety of your coworkers and the general public. So think safe and be safe.